Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel with Angelica Minor. So for this week, I'm going to be talking about my, uh, sorry, I'm going to be talking about week 12. Currently today, I am 12 weeks and 6 days pregnant, but according to the doctors, my son or daughter is running just a few days behind, so they would consider me about 12 weeks and like 4 days, so it's not, not much off, but that's that. And... I'm almost 13 weeks pregnant, so exciting! So, for this week is my 12th week. So I had my NT scan yesterday. And um, good news is my subchorionic hematoma is basically gone. Very, very tiny, tiny little bits of blood to nothing. And um, that's really good news. The fact that they said it was rare that... Not rare, but it's not common for girls to, or pregnant women, to heal as quick as I did. My body, I feel like, is doing me good right now. God's good. So, I'm happy to say that that's at least my worries. They did tell me to remain cautious of what I do. So, that way, like I said before, I have to limit my activities. And that means no sports, no heavy lifting, no pushing furniture around. Um, just keeping things down to the bare minimum, act like I'm still early in the pregnancy, like, you don't want to, you don't want to overdo yourself strain, and, um, so, what's a little odd is that that was the ultrasound tech that told me I was good, and, um, it, so my midwife just went along with that, so when I actually asked the ultrasound tech, she said she didn't really see anything there, but she's not the doctor to actually read those things, so she doesn't really know. So my midwife told me that, you know, it was good according to what my ultrasound tech said, and then I ended up calling a doctor and having them looking at it, and they said it was good. Um, so I had my appointment for next week canceled, sadly. I'm not going to see my baby next week, but I can wait, you know, like, six more weeks eight more weeks or something to see my baby again um so that's that was some good news that i've got i'm pretty excited about that um i'm still feeling very crampy yesterday i had a lot of cramps so basically when i after i was laid down with my son trying to put him get him a nap on the couch I stood up and I felt like everything was ripping inside of me and that was the same feeling that I've had all week when I actually had the subchorionic hematoma. So I feel like I still have it, I'm still prone to getting it, it could reoccur any day that they said that's why they want me to limit everything but it's just like, it's frustrating you know these feelings and pains that I have. It's not the same with my son but my son necessarily wasn't easy with me and his types of pains he gave me. Um, they also said that they think my placenta is not anterior again and or low lying so it's not like a terrier or previa placenta it's actually facing the back of my wall but they said it can move so they're gonna obviously make sure that it's good my 20 week scan so it's nothing to worry about but I'm happy so that way this time I could probably feel a little bit more kicks and stuff going on because there won't be that extra barrier between you know that placenta and um so, I also had my husband sneak an ultrasound video. So, when we're in the ultrasound room, he took a video. And um, I'm going to go ahead and post that. And I'm thinking about probably using that partially and making like a video for like a pregnancy announcement for those people that don't know my family. And I'll go ahead and like post that in there too after. So, I'm pretty happy this week stress is gone they said i can go back to my normal activities you know that means all the cleaning that i have to catch up on and taking care of my son playing with him you know if it's just if i get crampy and any more blood happens i have to stop and call them again um so that's really it for my week 12 video i'm 12 weeks and six days guys i'm almost 13 weeks wouldn't that make me close into my like uh third week of pregnancy or third month of pregnancy right i gotta check that out i kind of want to know so um also right after my nt scan i had a blood test and then i had my ob physical they didn't want to do the physical where i had a pap smear and stuff um because they didn't want to irritate anything and um, I was told to that UTI that I thought I had the previous week, um, like in week 10 
up until the 11th week was uh, not a UTI, it was another yeast infection, which I'm prone to get, and it's horrible. And um, so they told me to take a medication, but my insurance some, for some reason didn't cover it, so I just ended up buying Monistat, and they were cool with that. And um, so I got to listen to my baby's heartbeat. And that has dropped all the way down to 150 to 156. At the ultrasound tech, they said it was 150, but at the OB, they said it was 156, 157. Um, they also want to do another blood test, which is make this like my third blood test, but I asked them to do it later on when I have to get another one done when I'm like 28 weeks pregnant. And I think that's to check, like, to see if you have like that infection that some girls can get I didn't have it with my first son but it's just it, it can happen it's a bacteria that can build up in your vag and um, it's like almost like a strap or something I can't remember but um, they want to do a blood test then because obviously I'm a little Latino white you know and um, they want to make sure I'm not anemic and my iron is uh, gonna be okay because they are concerned because I'm dizzy all the time and um, a little cold and just a little a whole bunch of like symptoms that I have basically are adding up to my iron level, my thyroid and my um, iron thyroid and uh, oh, what was the other thing? I just said it. Anyways, they're all like a little haywire. I already know that I have like my thyroid's just a little off according to my um, my primary care doctor, like when I was 20 years old, I went and got a blood test done just to make sure everything was good and do my normal stuff. And um, my iron was also a little off, but they said I could take care of that with food. So normally how I handle that is I eat lots of greens and I love cream of wheat. So that's what I would do for breakfast or something. So that's how I control that without having to take medication for it. And I just, you know, my, now that my appetite's back up, I'm going to start eating more foods like that. I just wasn't able to in the beginning of my pregnancy. just was really nauseous and the food aversions were just horrible. And, um, you know, what was weird is that they said that I've never had a pap smear done before. It wasn't in the records. And I've had two of them done. I've had one done with my first pregnancy and I've had one done that one time with my primary care doctor, when I got that blood test and they checked my thyroid and stuff, that's the same day that I got that done. It was basically, I was going in for like STD screening and stuff, my first pap smear and, you know, so it was just odd that the doctors aren't keeping track of my stuff, you know, and I even signed release forms, so they're going to make sure that they talk and confirm everything. And I know exactly what it's like. It has like this like weird thing that they stick in your cervix, like actually in your cervix. I don't know. It was very disturbing the first time I got it done, so I would never forget it. Um, and, you know, my first doctor, obviously, you know, like, when I had my son, I had that done, you know, so, I ended up getting that not done yesterday. And that's really it for my week 12 video. If I think of anything else, I'll let you know in just another video that I make. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and post a separate video of my ultrasound for 12 weeks. Um... So I hope you enjoy that. I did want to mention that I am going to be posting parts of my previous pregnancy. Um, maybe not my previous pregnancy, but like the birth of my son all the way up to where he is now. Just so I can catch up on those videos and have those, you know, and get them off my phone. I think it would be fun to just share those as well. Well, thank you for stopping by. Love you guys. Hold up. I forgot to show you those pictures. Can't forget my baby. So, uh, this is his alien head. His body and his little feet. Isn't that adorable? They said he's good. Doesn't have, like, Down syndrome or anything. But that was according to the NC scan. I haven't got my blood test done yet. Those little feet. Look. Look, look at those little feet. What is that? Oh, I guess I threw it that way. That's its head. Oh, this is horrible. This is going horrible. There you go. There you go. Look, you can see a little mouth and nose and eyes and a hand behind them. Oh, 
think this is just so cute. That one's a good picture right there. I think that's where you can see a lot of the features. And guys, this is his foot. I, I refer to it as a boy, so it's easier because I already have a son. Look at the little toes. Toes. Isn't that adorable? Yeah. All right. Bye now.